you may have seen or heard about the matrix. A matrix in math terminology is a set of numbers arranged in rows and columns which form a rectangular array. But in CSS, matrix works differently. The matrix function is used for projecting linear transformations and displaying 3D images on a two-dimensional screen. So the matrix function is used for linear transformations and the matrix 3D function is used for projecting 3D images. The matrix function integrates all the transform functions into one that is rotate, scale, translate and skew. It takes up to six parameters and the syntax goes like this. Where you give the matrix and then you give scale x, skew y, skew x and scale y. You also give the translate x and translate y as well. Let's implement an example to get the clear idea. I'm going to define three divisions. The second and third division I'm giving id names as my div 1 and 2. Styling the division now, let me give width 300 pixels, font size 1.5 rem, text align I'll say center, padding 25 pixels and margin I'm going to give 20 pixels with some background color and border as well. I will apply the transform matrix on my div 1, so I'll give scale x as 1. If you remember the scale method resizes the element. Next is skew y and skew x. I will give minus 0.3 and 0. Skew method skews the element that is it skews the element on the x and y axis. Next is scale y. I am giving 1. Then translate x and translate y. So giving 0 and 20 respectively. And we are ready with our first set of values defined inside the matrix. This is what the syntax says. The first four values describe the linear transformation A, B, C and D. And the last two values that is Tx and Ty describes the translation of the element to be applied on the x and y axis. So each value represents unique transform function methods. This is what the matrix method is all about. That is to define all these functions in a single method. Now we will set a 3D transformation for the last division using the matrix 3D function. I will give transform matrix 3D. Now this function is an alternative to all the 3D transform functions like rotate 3D, rotate X, rotate Y, rotate Z, translate 3D, translate X, translate Y and translate Z. Also scale 3D, scale Z and perspective. It takes up to 16 parameters described in column major order which creates a 4 by 4 matrix. So let me define the values. The first 12 values are for linear transformation and the last four values are for describing translations. This is what each value specifies. As these values are in column major order, the parameters as matrix elements will look like this. The A1 value describes the scaling on x-axis, A2 for the skew x on z-axis, a3 for skew x on y axis and a4 for translate x. Similarly, we have values for b1 to b4, c1 to c4 and d1 to d4. Note that in matrix and matrix 3D functions, the order of values are not in sequence. You will have to remember them as mentioned here. Normally, we do not see the matrix or matrix 3D functions getting used everywhere. Instead, the developers try to keep the code more meaningful by specifying individual functions for 2D or 3D transformations. Even if you know how matrix 3D works, that doesn't mean you'll know what values to provide it every time you do a transform.
As you have seen, the numbers can get quite complex and you will need to be able to calculate each argument in your mind if you expect to use it in the same way you code the other translation functions. But anyways, you can go ahead and see how it works for you because anytime you define a CSS transform function, you are affecting the matrix. For example, if I comment on this matrix 3D and apply rotate 3D instead. And when I open the dev tools and inspect the division 3 in the computed section, you can see the matrix 3D being displayed. So even with rotate 3D or any other transform function, you are still affecting the matrix as it determines the coordinates of the element, its size, position, orientation, etc. All these are represented in 16 parameters.